The World Solar Challenge WSC, or the Bridgestone World Solar Challenge since 2013, tied to the sponsorship of Bridgestone Corporation as the world's most well-known solar-powered car race event. A biennial road race covering 3022 kilometers, 1878 miles through the Australian outback from Darwin, Northern Territory to Adelaide, South Australia, created to foster the development of experimental solar-powered vehicles. The race attracts teams from around the world, most of which are fielded by universities or corporations, although some are fielded by high schools. The race has a 32-year history spanning 14 races, with the inaugural event taking place in 1987. Initially held once every three years, the event became biennial from the turn of the century. Since 2001 the World Solar Challenge was won seven times out of nine efforts by the NUNA team and cars of the Delft University of Technology from the Netherlands, with only the Tokai Challenger, built by the Tokai University of Japan able to take the crown in 2009 and 2011. Starting in 2007, the WSC has been raced in multiple classes. After the German team of Bochum University of Applied Sciences competed with a four-wheeled, multi-SEAT car, the Bocruiser, in 2009, in 2013 a radically new «cruiser class» was introduced, racing and stimulating the technological development of practically usable, and ideally road-legal, multi-seater solar vehicles. Since its inception, Solar Team Eindhoven's four- and five-seat Stella Solar cars from Eindhoven University of Technology Netherlands won the Cruiser class in all three races so far. Remarkable technological progress has been achieved since the GM-led, highly experimental, single-seat Sunracer prototype first won the WSC with an average speed of 66.9 km per hour 41.6 miles per hour. Once competing cars became steadily more capable to match or exceed legal maximum speeds on the Australian highway, the race rules were consistently made more demanding and challenging. For instance after Honda's Dream Car first won the race with an average speed exceeding 55 miles per hour 88.5 kilometers per hour in 1996. In 2005 the Dutch Nuna team were the first to beat an average speed of 100 kilometers per hour 62 miles per hour. The 2017 Cruiser class winner, the five-seat Stella Vi vehicle, was able to carry an average of 3.4 occupants at an average speed of 69 km per hour 43 miles per hour. Like its two predecessors, the 2017 Stella Vi vehicle was successfully road registered by the Dutch team, further emphasizing the great progress in real world compliance and practicality that has been achieved. The World Solar Challenge held its 30th anniversary event on October 8 to 15, 2017. Topic: Objective The objective of this competition is to promote research on solar-powered cars. Teams from universities and enterprises participate. In 2015, 43 teams from 23 countries competed in the race. Topic. Racing strategy Efficient balancing of power resources and power consumption is the key to success during the race. At any moment in time the optimal driving speed depends on the weather forecast and the remaining capacity of the batteries. The team members in the escort cars will continuously remotely retrieve data from the solar car about its condition and use these data as input for prior developed computer programs to work out the best driving strategy. It is equally important to charge the batteries as much as possible in periods of daylight when the car is not racing. To capture as much solar energy as possible, the solar panels are generally directed such that these are perpendicular to the incident sun rays. Sometimes the whole solar array is tilted for this purpose.
Topic: Important rules. The timed portion of the race stops at the outskirts of Adelaide, 2998 kilometers from Darwin. However, for the timings recorded at that point to count, competitors must reach the official finish line in the center of the city under solar power alone. As the race is over public roads, the cars have to adhere to the normal traffic regulations, however, there is a special note in the official regulations remarking on the tendency of drivers to take advantage of a favorable road camber in order to capture the maximum amount of solar energy. After midday when the sun is in the west, it would be advantageous to drive on the right side of the highway, provided, of course, there is no traffic in opposite direction. A minimum of two and maximum four drivers have to be registered. If the weight of a driver including clothes is less than 80 kg ballast will be added to make up the difference. Driving time is between 8 o'clock and 1700 from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. In order to select a suitable place for the overnight stop alongside the highway, it is possible to extend the driving period for a maximum of 10 minutes, which extra driving time will be compensated by a starting time delay the next day. At various points along the route there are checkpoints where every car has to pause for 30 minutes. Only limited maintenance tasks no repairs are allowed during these compulsory stops. The capacity of the batteries is limited to a mass for each chemistry such as lithium ion equivalent to approximately 5 kWh maximum. At the start of the race, the batteries may be fully charged. Batteries may not be replaced during the competition, except in the situation of a breakdown. However, in that case a penalty time will apply. Except for the maximum outer dimensions, there are no further restrictions on the design and construction of the car. The deceleration of the dual braking system must be at least 3.8 meters per square second, 149.6 in per square second. Topic: Rule evolution. By 2005, several teams were handicapped by the South Australian speed limit of 110 km per hour 68 miles per hour, as well as the difficulties of support crews keeping up with 130 km per hour 81 miles per hour race vehicles. It was generally agreed that the challenge of building a solar vehicle capable of crossing Australia at vehicular speeds had been met and exceeded. A new challenge was set, to build a new generation of solar car, which, with little modification, could be the basis for a practical proposition for sustainable transport. Entrance to the 2007 race chose between racing in the Adventure and Challenge classes. Challenge class cars were restricted to 6 square meters of sea solar collectors a 25% reduction, and later to 3 square meters for gallium-3 arsenide, driver access and egress were required to be unaided, seating position upright, steering controlled with a steering wheel, and many new safety requirements were added. Competitors also had to adhere to the new 130 km per hour 81 miles per hour speed limit across the Northern Territory portion of the Stewart Highway. The 2007 event again featured a range of supplementary classes, including the Greenfleet class, which features a range of non-solar energy efficient vehicles exhibiting their fuel efficiency. For the 2009 Challenge class several new rules were adopted, including the use of profiled tires. Battery weight limits depend on secondary cell chemistries so that competitors have similar energy storage capabilities. Battery mass is now 20 kg for Li-ion and Li-polymer battery was reduced from 25 and 21 kg in the past. In 2013, a new cruiser class was introduced. The race took place in four stages. 
Final placings were based on a combination of time taken 56.6%, number of passengers carried 5.7%, battery energy from the grid between stages 18.9%, and a subjective assessment of practicality 18.9%. In the 2015 cruiser class regulations, the scoring formula emphasized practicality less than before. Elapsed time will account for 70% of the score, passengers 5%, grid energy use 15%, and practicality 10%. In 2017, solar array areas were reduced, and the cruiser class was changed to a regularity trial, with scoring based on energy efficiency and practicality. Topic. History The idea for the competition originates from Danish-born adventurer Hans Tholstrup. He was the first to circumnavigate the Australian continent in a 16-foot open boat. At a later stage in his life he became involved in various competitions with fuel-saving cars and trucks. Already in the 1980s, he became aware of the necessity to explore sustainable energy as a replacement for the limited available fossil fuel. Sponsored by BP, he designed the world's first solar car, called the Quiet Achiever, and traversed the 4,052 kilometres 2,518 miles between Sydney, New South Wales and Perth, Western Australia in 20 days. That was the precursor of the World Solar Challenge. After the fourth race, he sold the rights to the state of South Australia and leadership of the race was assumed by Chris Selwood. The race was held every three years until 1999 when it was switched to every two years. Topic. 1987. The first edition of the World Solar Challenge was run in 1987 when the winning entry, GM Sunracer won with an average speed of 67 km per hour 42 miles per hour. Ford Australia's Sunchaser came in second. The Solar Resource, which came in seventh overall, was first in the private entry category. Topic. 1990 The 1990 World Solar Challenge was won by the Spirit of Beale, built by Beale School of Engineering and Architecture in Switzerland followed by Honda in second place. Video coverage here. Topic. 1993 The 1993 World Solar Challenge was won by the Honda Dream, and Beale School of Engineering and Architecture took second. Video coverage here. Topic. 1996 In the 1996 World Solar Challenge, the Honda Dream and Beale School of Engineering and Architecture once again placed first and second overall, respectively. Topic 1999. The 1999 World Solar Challenge was finally won by a home. Team, the Australian Aurora team's Aurora 101 took the prize while Queen's University was the runner-up in the closely contested WSC so far. The Sunrace class of American teams was won by Massachusetts Institute of Technology. Topic. 2001 The 2001 World Solar Challenge was won by Nuna of the Delft University of Technology from the Netherlands, participating for the first time. Aurora took second place. Topic 2003 
In the 2003 World Solar Challenge Nuna 2, the successor to the winner of 2001 won again, with an average speed of 97 km per hour 60 miles per hour, while Aurora took second place again. Topic. 2005 In the 2005 World Solar Challenge the top finishers were the same for the third consecutive race as Nuon's Nuna 3-1 with a record average speed of 102.75 km per hour 63.85 miles per hour, and Aurora was the runner-up. 2007 The 2007 World Solar Challenge saw the Dutch Nuon Solar team scored their fourth successive victory with Nuna 4 in the challenge class, averaging 90.07 km per hour, 55.97 miles per hour under the new, more restrictive rules, while the Belgian punch powertrain solar team's Umicar Infinity placed second. The Adventure class was added this year, run under the old rules, and won by Japanese Ashia team's Tiga. The Japanese Ashia team's Tiga won the Adventure class, run under the old rules, with an average speed of 93.53 km per hour 58.12 miles per hour. 2009 The 2009 World Solar Challenge was won by the Tokai Challenger. Built by the Tokai University Solar Car Team in Japan with an average speed of 100.54 km per hour 62.47 miles per hour. The longtime reigning champion Nuon Solar Team's Nuna 5 finished in second place. The Sunswift IV built by students at the University of New South Wales, Australia was the winner of the silicon-based solar cell class, while Japan's Osaka Sangyo University's Osu Model S won the adventure class. 2011 In the 2011 World Solar Challenge Tokai University took their second title with an updated Tokai Challenger, averaging 91.54 km per hour 56.88 miles per hour, and finishing just an hour before Nuna 6 of the Delft University of Technology. The race was marred by delays caused by wildfires. 2013 The 2013 World Solar Challenge featured the introduction of the Cruiser class, which comprised more practical solar cars with two to four occupants. The inaugural winner was Solar Team Eindhoven Stella from Eindhoven University of Technology in the Netherlands with an average speed of 74.52 km per hour 46.30 miles per hour, while second place was taken by the Powercore Suncruiser vehicle from Team Hochschule Bochum in Germany, who inspired the creation of the Cruiser class by racing more practical solar cars in previous WSC races. The Australian team, the University of New South Wales solar racing team Sunswift was the fastest competitor to complete the race, but was awarded third place overall after points were awarded for practicality and for carrying passengers. In the Challenger class, the Dutch team from Delft University of Technology took back the title with Nuna 7 and an average speed of 90.71 km per hour 56.36 miles per hour, while defending champions Tokai University finished second after an exciting close race, which saw a 10-30 minute race distance, though they drained the battery in final stint due to bad weather and finished some three hours later, an opposite situation of the previous challenge in 2011. The adventure class was won by Aurora's Aurora Evolution. 2015 
The 2015 World Solar Challenge was held on October 18–25 with the same classes as the 2013 race. In the cruiser class, the winner was once again Solar Team Eindhoven Stella Lux from Eindhoven University of Technology in the Netherlands with an average speed of 76.73 km per hour, 47.68 miles per hour, while the second place team was Kogakuin University from Japan, who was the first to cross the finish line, but did not receive as many points for passenger kilometers and practicality. Bochum took third place this year with the latest in their series of cruiser cars. In the Challenger class, the team from Delft University of Technology retained the title with Nuna 8 and an average speed of 91.75 km per hour 57.01 miles per hour, while their Dutch counterparts, the University of Twente, who led most of the race, finished just eight minutes behind them in second place, making 2015 the closest finish in WSC history. Tokai University passed the University of Michigan on the last day of the race to take home the bronze. The Adventure class was won by the Houston High School Solar Car Team from Houston, Mississippi, United States. Topic 2017 The 2017 World Solar Challenge was held on October 8–15, featuring the same classes as 2015. The Dutch Nuon team won again in the Challenger class, which concluded on 12 October 2017, and in the Cruiser class, the winner was once again Solar Team Eindhoven, from the Netherlands as well. Topic. See also. Solar car racing List of prototype solar-powered cars List of solar car teams Shell Eco Marathon The Quiet Achiever, the world's first solar-powered racecar Other solar vehicle challenges American Solar Challenge, a biennial United States event held since 1990 that has previously included Canada. Formula Sun Grand Prix, an annual U.S. event held on racetracks. The Solar Car Challenge, an annual event for high school students from the U.S. and, to a lesser extent, other parts of the world, first held in 1995. South African Solar Challenge, a biennial South African event that was first held in 2008. Victorian Model Solar Vehicle Challenge, an annual event in Australia for schoolchildren. European Solar Challenge, a biennial 24-hour race in Belgium. Topic. Movie Race the Sun, a movie loosely based on a participating team.